it's Brittany and welcome back to my channel. I apologize about the sun situation right now. I'm filming this at like 4.30, which is actually a lot later than I normally do my grocery shops. But the house is quiet because the boys are out right now. So I figured this would be the best time to share my latest Aldi haul with you guys. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Brittany and on my channel, I primarily do grocery hauls mom day in the life content i'm a stay-at-home mom right now so i like to share vlogs and then i also like to sprinkle in some cooking content here and there so if you like that kind of stuff i would love to have you join my youtube family hit the subscribe button below and if you enjoyed today's video give it a like it really helps my channel out so much so i am so happy to be filming this right now and it's been probably almost two months since I filmed a grocery haul which is crazy because that's really like the main content uh area for my channel but I actually just filmed and I'm filming the same day but I just filmed a video earlier today with like a life update on why I have not filmed in so long and why I have not been posting YouTube videos for so long. So if, if you're interested in hearing why you can go over to that video, I'll link it here. But summarized version is we have been so sick for literally like a month and a half. So ice maker, <laughs> sorry. Um, but yeah, we've been so sick for a month and a half. So I actually was planning on taking a break from YouTube for a couple weeks for my son's first birthday. And then at the same time we were sick so although we've been grocery shopping fridge seriously every freaking time every time i do an intro this happens <laughs> anyway so like we've been grocery shopping obviously because we gotta eat but i've not been filming because we've been so sick if you want the details on every illness and malady we've had in the last six weeks you can go watch that video it will be linked for you guys but this is actually kind of like my first big grocery shop back like getting into filming so glad you guys are here it just feels good to be back in my element like this is my happy place like going to get groceries scoping out what's at aldi saving some money it's my jam so um with that we're gonna get into today's haul it is a decent size haul i spent more than i wanted to and i'm reminded every time i go to the grocery store about how crazy and insane grocery prices are like I go in and I think I'm gonna spend like $50 and I spend an extra 25 and I did get some impulse stuff that was not on the list today and I also got some <clears throat> sorry boys I also got some um, donations for our church so it's not like I I totally went nuts and just spent over because it is stuff that's going to a good cause. But at the same time, I'm like, I felt like I didn't really get all that much and it was still a little expensive. So enough rambling from me. Let's go ahead and get into the haul. Only working with half a counter today because I've got dinner in the crock pot for tonight. So we'll do this in two rounds. So I have most of our cold stuff here and a couple other miscellaneous items. In case you're wondering what we're having for dinner, it's a crock chicken which is chicken breast, cream cheese, cheddar cheese, and ranch seasoning. And you shred it up and eat it on sandwiches. It's so good. And we actually have cooked bacon in the fridge too. So you put some crunchy bacon on top. So delicious. 10 out of 10. Recommend you trying that recipe. Super simple. Okay, so impulse buy number one was Sun Chips because they were on sale. And I told myself going into Aldi, I'm like, I'm not going to buy any snack food because we don't need it. But your girl is a sucker for Sun Chips. I love them so much. I feel like that's my late night snack of choice when we're watching TV. And to be honest, there are worse things, right, as far as health, <laughs> health-wise goes. So I like that. It's a healthy snack. I don't feel too bad about it. They were on sale, so I got... Garden Salsa and Harvest Cheddar. I definitely like Garden Salsa better, but they had both kinds, so I just picked up both bags. That bag looked open for a second. It's not. Restocked milk. Isaac's on whole milk now, so I feel like we're going through milk a lot faster, and then I use 2% for my coffee. I picked up the Buffalo Chicken Strips. I feel like I've talked about these before on my channel, but Derek and I really like these, and we have flour tortillas in the pantry, and so I picked up some lettuce and tomato, and I thought maybe one night for a healthy-ish, not actually, not healthy at all, 
For a quick dinner, we could do snack wraps with the buffalo chicken tenders, a little bit of the Boathouse Farms ranch dressing, super good. So we'll probably do that one night, maybe with a side salad or chips. I like to have a really, really easy, low maintenance dinner on the schedule that we can just pick a night where we need something super quick to have that. So that's our easy meal for the week. I also picked up these French toast sticks. I've never tried these before, but honestly, all the breakfast stuff from Aldi I've tried so far, I've really liked. I like their waffles. I like their sausage. And I'm in a phase right now with Isaac where I need variety in my life and I need quick and easy things for breakfast, especially because I do find myself in the mornings having to get him out places, to the library, wherever, and I want something really quick and easy. And we picked up the Eggo French Toast and he loves that. Like it's the one breakfast thing he will eat and not throw on the floor to the dog. So going to try these and hopefully he likes them because they're obviously cheaper than getting Eggos. And I think there's more, there's definitely more in this box than the Eggo box. Um, so yeah, we'll give those a try. They also had a double cinnamon sugar, but obviously trying to limit his sugar and not give him too much because he's still one. We're trying our best with him to provide him with like a variety of foods so he doesn't get stuck on things and he still eats, you know, pretty healthy. Picked up salad supplies. So I picked up some green onions for these sandwiches tonight to mix in with the chicken, some romaine, cucumber, tomatoes. We'll do that for wraps, but also salads. And then I picked up some Monterey Jack cheese. So going into the shop, I was shooting to potentially do like a vegetarian, um, not quesadilla, but vegetarian enchiladas on Friday because we're in Lent right now. Um, we're Catholic, and so on Fridays we don't eat meat. So I was going to get Monterey Jack cheese for those, but then Aldi didn't have enchilada sauce because we have corn tortillas in the pantry. So I wanted to do enchiladas, although I could just do like vegetarian soft tacos with the corn tortillas and that might be good. So anyways, I picked up the Monterey Jack cheese. I don't 100% know what I'm using it for yet. We'll either do like a slow cooker beans and then eat it over rice or maybe we'll do like vegetarian tacos. The cheese will be used for something. I just don't know what yet. Another impulse buy is this pure Irish butter. <laughs> My mom was talking about this recently and I kind of forgot about it and it's supposed to be like the Kerrygold version from Aldi. It's not anywhere close to Kerrygold in my opinion, but it is better than just the regular butter. And I like using this like on bagels and stuff like that. So picked up this and again, Impulse Buy, it's more expensive than regular but uh, butter. I think it was like $3, which is pretty expensive for butter, but it is a lot better than regular butter. So we're treating ourselves with some nice butter this week. I picked up mixed vegetables because I'm planning on making a crock pot chicken and dumplings this week. Trying to get some like soups and stews in while we're still in the winter cold season. Although another thing I couldn't find at Aldi was cream of celery. So I'm going to have to run out to another store to get that before we make that dish. Picked up some cream cheese for bagels and some guacamole for whatever Mexican style dish we make on Friday. So especially when I'm eating vegetarian, I like to be able to like amp it up, you know, with like the fats with some like guacamole and stuff like that, just so it's more filling. I picked up some peppers because one night I think we're going to grill chicken sausages and we have some mozzarella slices in the fridge. So I thought we could do a little like pepper onion situation on the sausages and then I picked up some fruits some strawberries and raspberries the strawberries were actually on sale for $1.99 which is insane because we're not even really in strawberry season yet I mean maybe this is the start of strawberry season because these ones are they California or Florida these ones are Florida so maybe we're at the start of strawberry season but they looked pretty decent I almost bought two boxes but I decided to get raspberries instead because I don't love raspberries, but I wanted Isaac to try them. He loves blueberries. He likes strawberries too, so I'm like, maybe he'll like raspberries. We're going to give those a go.
Here's the rest of the haul. So this is all the kind of pantry stuff. So I picked up pickles. I've been in a weird pickle kick recently and I've just been loving having pickles either on my sandwich or on the side of my sandwich when I eat lunch. I don't know what it is that recently I'm like, I need pickles, but I need them. So I actually just finished both the jars that we have and the Aldi hamburger dill chips are so good guys. Like this is my pickle chip of preference right now, which is amazing because they're so much cheaper. So love those. And then I went ahead and got the dill spears also to try. I'm assuming they're also going to be good. Although I guess I shouldn't assume, but they're probably going to taste very similar. So I'm hoping back here, I picked up some red onions just for um, the chicken sausage with the peppers and onions for that. If we do a Mexican dish on Friday. I usually like to have like diced up red onions for that. So just for miscellaneous purposes, miscellaneous purposes, also like wraps and stuff, sandwiches, love red onion on that stuff too. Um, okay, some of this is actually for our church because we went today and they're actually accepting food donations. So since I was going to Aldi, I thought it would be a great opportunity to pick up some stuff for our parish. So I picked up there's very specific things they wanted, like pasta, rice, canned food. So I picked up, uh, how many pounds is this? Three pound bag of white rice, spaghetti, two pounds of spaghetti, and then all these cans of food are for our church. So I have sweet peas, corn, black beans, and green beans. And then I also picked up a can of black beans and green beans for us as well, just to have um, the black beans might be for the like enchiladas or whatever I'm making Friday. <laughs> For vegetarian day, the black beans will be used um, if I don't make fresh beans in the crock pot, which is also a possibility. <laughs> um, you guys are probably sick about hearing my bean saga and what I'm planning on cooking on Friday. So that's for that. And then I've been really wanting to try this banana quick bread. Um, I've been seeing this in some other YouTubers videos and my store hasn't had it. So I saw it today and I snagged up a box. I actually just made blueberry muffins, like the Betty Crocker ones this morning, or no, yesterday morning. And I love muffins or like, like bread, like, you know, banana bread, that kind of stuff. And so I've been really into the box mixes recently. I'm a baker. And so I love making stuff from scratch, but in mom life, the box mixes are so much easier and honestly they're still so good for Isaac's first birthday well for his party we got him like a professionally made cake but for his like actual birthday I just made Aldi yellow cake cupcakes and so good their their cake mixes bread mixes are typically like super super good and you couldn't even taste that they were not homemade like they just don't have that processed taste like some of the cake mixes have. And then I made a homemade frosting. So, you know, it, it ended up turning out really nice. So if you haven't tried the baking mixes from Aldi, I highly recommend. They're super inexpensive. And I haven't tried the banana one, but I have had the apple one that comes out in the fall, which I actually saw today at my store, which I was surprised by. And I'm like, is this just like overflow from the fall? Or are they carrying that year round? I don't know, but I was tempted to pick up a box, but I'm like, no, we just need one box. So pick this up. I think it'll be nice to have for weekends. I like to sometimes make stuff like that. And Isaac loved the blueberry muffins, so I'm sure he would love banana muffins as, all, as well. He's also had banana bread and he's liked it before. A couple other items. So I picked up bread. Um, I love the brioche buns. I've talked about them so much on my channel, so I won't get into it too much, but I picked up the hot dog buns that we'll do with chicken sausage. And then tonight we're using the brioche hamburger buns for our chicken sandwiches. And I just love, like, if I'm making um, chicken in the crock pot, the brioche bun just, like, amps it up so much. It's either got to be a brioche bun or it's got to be the Hawaiian bread, like those rolls. And it just makes the sandwich so much better. So... That was also another reason I was like, I need to go to Aldi today just so I can get brioche buns. Um, baby stuff. So Puffs, Isaac's one, but he loves these things, guys. Like these things we go through so freaking quick. And sometimes it's just like to make him happy, he needs a snack. 
So like for church and stuff like that, especially now that he's older and he's more antsy and impatient when we're at places like that where, you know, we can't like run around and stuff, it is essential that I have snacks in my bag. So I either like to bring a canister of this and just hand them to him or pop them in his mouth. And then also stuff like this, like the little yogurt bites, which um, I actually haven't tried all these before. I know my mom has these at her house for him and he likes them, but it's just like the Gerber ones that you can find. So pick these up and then also just picked up a couple pouches. He eats like pretty much whatever we eat now, but I love having the pouches on hand. Like if we're on the go places and I need to have a little afternoon snack for him, like when we went on our play date the other day, I threw one of these in the diaper bag and it's just easy for him to eat when we're on the go. And it allows him to get some additional fruits and vegetables in his belly. So that is everything. Let me go ahead and grab the receipt. I'll show you guys the total. And then I'll walk through the meal plan for the week. Here's my receipt. So I spent $73.70 today and I'm just gonna scroll you guys can pause it if you want to see the individual prices. This is always the easiest way for me to share prices. And then just obviously knowing I live in Maryland, so um, prices vary across the country. But that is everything. It was 70, 73.70. Okay, and then this is confusing, but I have another receipt because basically what happened was I had pouches for Isaac in my cart that I didn't realize I hadn't scanned. So the cashier started scanning someone else's stuff and then he had to void it and then he had to scan my stuff. So this was 340. So basically I spent around, it was like roughly $75. Really quickly, here's our meal plan and it is a little dark right now. Sorry about the lighting, it's raining outside. So it's pretty dim in here. So we're doing leftovers tonight. Tomorrow we're gonna do grilled chicken sausage with the brioche buns I picked up, do some peppers and onions, maybe a little mozzarella cheese on them. Then Wednesday I'm gonna make slow cooker chicken and dumplings. And then Thursday we're gonna have leftovers of that. Friday we're doing something vegetarian. So I have beans right now. Like I was talking about, I don't know exactly what I'm making, but it'll either be like bean burritos, bean enchiladas, beans and rice, something to that, of that nature. And then we're gonna do buffalo chicken wraps one night. If we don't make that over the weekend, we'll probably just do that like sometime next week. And then I usually leave like one day blank because sometimes we'll get like carry out or go out to dinner over the weekend. So that's our meal plan for this week. So that wraps up today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you for being back and being here for my first grocery haul in what feels like a million bajillion years. Um, it honestly just feels so good to be back and talk with you guys and share what I found. I just love this so much. I feel like I love watching grocery hauls because it gives me like inspiration for like things to cook or how to save money or things that I don't even know exist in the grocery stores. So if I can do that for you guys, it makes me happy. So if you, again, if you like today's video, give it a like, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and be on the lookout for more content coming from me. I'm due for a Costco haul soon. I'm also due to go to Trader Joe's. So if you like that kind of content, Make sure you stick around. I've also got um, a day in the life vlog that probably is up already. So I'll link that here. I would love to have you join our family and I'll see you all in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>